Because it's going to be hectic. Jesus, nearly cut my hand. What's up, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Now, today I've got a very special video. I've actually received the big package. I'm about to open it up. We'll go through it, and then I'll explain what I'm going to do with it and where I'm going to take my bike next. So, let's go to do it. From the EBMX crew. Got the knife. <laughs> Jesus, nearly cut my hand. I like how I'm good at riding because I'm no good at knifing this box. Misses will clean that up. Race spec black CNC bundle. I'm going to call this as a peg kit. Now, I've bent two sets of pegs on my bike. If you've seen my videos, you'll know why. So I'm looking forward to getting this fresh kit and this one's actually got the brace in it which I haven't been running and again I'll show you why you need to run that brace. Now this is the second set of pegs that I've had. Can anyone tell me why there is some pins missing on this one peg? I, I can't understand, I'm not too sure and I've seen this a few times so drop a comment below. Tell me why you think that these pins on the edge of this peg are missing because it have, it's on all of them. So let's find out. What do we got here? Ooh, got another display. Looks like the same display that I ran on my back 4K, so that'll be a freshie for the 8K. Here comes the good stuff. Bum ba -da -ba, back 8K, baby! This thing is gonna horse that thing, so that is my favorite part there. If you saw the drag race, I got smoked by one of these. So what do you do? You go out and you buy yourself one, so you can do the smoking. I bypassed my battery last time, or oh, a connector kit. Some leads. Hot damn. Now that is a cool package. These are two chains and I'm going to say it's to fit a 64 tooth and a 58 tooth because I've got two sprockets to test on this setup. And this is cool. Holy. This one is light compared to this one, which I'm going to call this is the new premium alloy sprocket versus the dirty old alloy sprocket or chromo sprocket maybe. We'll find out when we put it on. But there's a 58 and there's a 64 tooth in there. So, whoosh, whoo. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Holy shies of my dudes. This thing weighs a ton, whereas this thing is light as. Now from a BMX background, we think of rotational weight. If we're gonna run these on a pushies, this is a race machine right here. The light alloy is gonna be beautiful to ride on. This is a lug. So it's a 64 tooth, which I really wanted to try for the torque and that side of it, but this will be my prime time right here. And I also bought this from the shed because I'm going to run this setup on my Seron, so I want to chrome it out, bit of bling on there. Although I don't want to switch my BMX bars because they've got a sick little crossbar on them, I will give these a run just for something different. I like to mix it up. The other thing that I bought from the shed is something that Anster made me. So, some little grip tabs for the side of the frame, which will be cool. So I'll stick them on when I do this other kit. Now I've got all the new deadly gear, but I need my bike. So let's go and let's build her up. Let's go. 